all you starfighters out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Starfield. So we are working on the main quest line, and I think what we're going to be doing is talking with Walter Stroud today. But first things first, I've been uh, getting things ready, and it sounds like Sam and Mateo is having an argument of some sort. So let's go see what they have, That's not what, I said. what it's all well, about. okay, fine. Let's see what he says. Hey, you have a second? Sam and I were just having a, uh, discussion, and I wanted someone else's input. I think it's more accurate to say that you and I have now both been cornered, but sure. I'd like to, you know, get in shape, do some working out. So I asked Vladimir for some tips, and he basically said weightlifting was a bad idea. Are you sure that's what he said, or is it just what you heard? Anyway, so I wanted to get Sam's opinion on it, and he pretty much said the same thing. Okay, since now you've been fully roped into this, let's all just take a step back. I had simply pointed out that if you take a look at Mateo, weightlifting isn't necessarily the first thing that comes to mind. I was wondering whether there might be a better option for him, and just sort of musing in general about the idea of sticking to things you're inclined to, versus going out and trying something completely new. Well, what's your take on it? You think it's better to stick to what you know, or to take any opportunity to try something that's maybe outside your comfort zone? Well, you know what? You'll never get anywhere if you don't take risks. Well, there you have it. That's what I've been saying! Anyway, thanks. I think I'm going to try it. And don't worry, I'll be sure and ask Vladimir for pointers. Hey, we'll support you no matter what. Just... Don't want to all right. All. So we got yeah, that. I know. Thanks. And maybe if I need a spotter. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Okay. So we've got that settled at least. All right. So let's talk to Walter. Hey, Walter, how you doing? I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. Well, I'm interested. Let's hear it. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Okay, well, I'm in. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. Okay, well, Walter, you know what? I am ready to roll, so let's get going. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Okay, travel to Neon. Well, you know what? I, uh, I'm pretty much all ready to go to Neon, so I will meet you all there in Neon with Walter. Okay, we are here on Neon, and here's Walter over here, so I guess we gotta go talk to him. Walter. Nah. Smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. Okay, well, chasm bass? A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source has far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Okay, well, let's get going. We need to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Okay, so we're gonna go check in at Stroud Eklund, and I guess I will uh, meet you all there at Stroud Eklund. Okay, we are here at Stroud Eklund, and Mrs. here Stroud. is Walter. You didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? 
Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Okay. Well, let's follow Walter here. And let's see. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Oh. Charmed, Miss Declan. I envy you and your partner's success. Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter, wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Well, so uh, I am 100% behind embarrassing Walter Moore. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? So, our meeting is at the Astral Lounge? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage? Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. Okay, so what do we, uh, investigate the cellar? Case the Astro Lounge? Got it. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our cellar. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Ah, okay. Great, a thousand credits added. All right, well, let's see. So we gotta go ask about security. And... I guess check on uh, the cellar. So let's uh, head down. Let's go to the lobby. All right. So we've got uh, two different things here. All right, so we've got to investigate the cellar and we've got to ask about security. I think uh, this way is going to find out about My security. Goes along again. My girl's gonna kill me. Which should be right down here, probably at wondering what that smell is. It's at the uh, security office uh, here on the hey, no and. to chase more zone heads out of here today. Oh. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. 
Okay. Kids having fun, James. Don't kid yourself, Rosa. Aurora isn't fun. It's a poison. And it needs to be taken off the streets. Okay. All right, James. Take. Hey, I need to talk with you. Just the Aurora. It's Administrator Bayu. As long as he's in charge, the city will just get worse and worse. Dietrich's been great at the meetings. Wish he'd stop bringing those dumplings. But Rosa likes them. Hey, I need to talk with you. Don't run away. Now, James. Have a moment. Say hello to my wife, Rosa. Upset. Oh, sure, sure. Administrator so Bayu you set up a meeting with uh, Walter Stroud recently. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Oh, well, let's say you did. Information isn't usually free. Come on, don't dump my questions. I know the seller came through you. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. Okay, I know you're... I'm asking... Uh, on behalf of Walter Stroud, I'm sure he. I'm sure he can pay you. I guess maybe I can add this to his tab. Okay. I don't know much, but I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. Okay. So search the seller's sleep crate. All right. And let's uh, head down there. I believe that would be this way. Down through here. Yep. Down to upside. What the hell's going on? That's okay, folks. I'm not going to shoot anybody again. All right. Where are we at? Uh, the sleep crate. I need to get to the sleep crate. What the? Oh. <laughs> ah, crap. What are you guys doing? All right. I guess I've made an enemy out of the disciplines. All right. Is this where we got to go? Oh, come on. All right. There's one more around here. Screw off already. All right. Okay, you know what? Let's take this stuff. I wasn't anticipating having to deal with you guys, but... Too bad I can't squeeze any Aurora from these fish. And we want that. All right. I think... All right, come on, guys. Where are we at here? 12. Oh, inaccessible. Uh, door locked. Oh, I bet this is where we gotta go. All right. Slot that. Slot that and slot that. Okay. Oh. Oh, we better not have to. Okay, let's use. All right. Uh, personal correspondence, personal correspondence. Uh, to Musgrove, you might not be aware, but there's a certain item that your employer has that others have taken an interest in. Now that I know you're gainfully employed, but what's the harm in a little chat besides I have some information about the career? Okay. Uh, correspondence number two. I'm not joking, friend. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You'd need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. All right. Number three, per our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time 
before they come after you. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's see what we've got left on our list to do. Okay, so we've investigated the cellar, we've searched the cellars, so now we gotta go find out about uh, security. And I believe that's back up at the Astro Lounge. So when I get up to the Astro Lounge, I will uh, catch back up with you. Okay, we're back here at the Astro Lounge. My favorite freaking DJ up there. Okay. Take it easy. This place is insane. Let's see what we got going here. Ah, uh, you know what? Just to make for sure. I'm probably going to have to do some sort of persuasion. Let's take a little bit of aid here. Uh, I have a nice Chardonnay. Let's uh, go ahead and take one of those. Along with the business suit. All right, Boone. Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Uh, fine, I'm sure you do. Uh, I don't do Kim's. I prefer alcohol, actually. Oh, we have plenty of that. But why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. I'm sure it is. Here, take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but... <laughs> Let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Oh, come on. So I have a meeting here later, worried about security. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. Say I needed security to be on my side if a fight broke out. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. All right. Well, that fee seems a little high. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. So, I'm sure a business like Stroud Eklund already has VIP status. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Well, perhaps something could be arranged. So... Uh, I know you'd like to help me if you could. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. That's what I like to hear. Maybe we can work something out. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. All right, here's a thousand credits. I would love to be a VIP. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. All right. Uh, so we've Come got. Come back soon. So we've got to check out the door controls. All right. That's upstairs to the VIP. Oh man, I'm flying right now. All right. VIP. Okay. Uh, where is it? Probably around the corner here. Quit staring. Oh, hush up. All right. Oh, what hell? What happened? I don't know what happened there. Okay. All right. where I gotta go yeah okay we gotta unlock this all right once I get the computer unlocked I'll catch back up with you okay I am in let's uh, remote door control check the door controls okay adding new user to remote door control override approved hand signal will Allow use to lock door to VIP lounge a total of one time. So add new user. Uh, approved hand signal. Okay. 
This room has been booked by Redracted. Okay. Okay. I guess we've got to go back and talk to Walter. I believe that's what we got to do. Yeah, talk to Walter. All right. Back out of here. Downstairs? All right, look out. Hmm? All right, down to the dance floor. Did I go to the, oh, okay. Yep, I'm heading the right direction. Okay, let's go talk to Walter. And he probably is back in the office. You're out there a lot, right? In space? Just do us all a favor, never turn into one of those spacers. Go. Okay. Up to Stroud Eklund Head Corporate. Corporation. Okay, and there they are. Okay. Walter. Walter. Any luck out there? All right, it's done. Uh, well, let's see. I found out the seller is pretty desperate. Should give us an edge. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Okay. Go to the Astral Lounge. All right, come on, Walter. Let's get over there. Lobby. With me, Walter? Where are you at? Okay, up to the Astro Lounge. Walter will get there. I'm sure he will be. He's probably behind us somewhere. Maybe he's already up here. Okay. Talk to Walter. Where's Walter? See, I knew Walter would be here. Walter. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Ramsey and Travers, the scientists who discovered neon gas. Are they? <laughs> okay, use the code phrase to identify the seller. Got it. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. Yep. We'll meet back near the elevator. Okay, locate the seller. All right, we're looking for somebody that has a briefcase. Uh... Where are we going to find him? Look around, look around. It's this guy, Citizen. He has just a bag. That can't possibly be it. All right, come on. Hey there. Let's must be somebody around here with a briefcase. Maybe Haven't upstairs? No, nobody here. He he got them all. Check something here. Locate the cellar. Okay. Here. Hey! Hey! You wanna dance? You. This is amazing! Uh. The music's so good! Well, it's not you, huh? All right. Hi! Having fun? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, look out, citizens. Come on, I need to find a dude with a briefcase. And it's not you? What? I can't hear you! Oh, holy... Mm, nothing like summer what a great night! Off. 
Everybody's walking around with a damn briefcase. All right. How about you? <laughs> Hi. Oh, seriously? It's party time. Get zoned and have fun. <laughs> hey there. All right. You, you can't. You got to be kidding me. You? I can't hear myself think. Yeah, I know. Neither can I. Okay. Uh. Ooh. I just need a minute. I think that last drink was stronger than I thought. Oh boy. That's what you said drinks Any of you guys? This Aurora stuff, it's blowing my mind. Oh. The music is amazing. Oh. What's up? Hey, enjoy yourself. It's seriously? All right. When I catch up and find this citizen or whoever with the briefcase, I'll catch back up with you all. Okay. I think I found the dude. There's a dude standing right over there on the wall, and he's got a very large briefcase by him. So let's go see what yes. this dude has to say. Must grow. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? I'm with Ramsey and Travers. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. All right, let's go talk to Walter. Okay. Walter, this is all spy espionage type stuff. Oh, hey, come back here, Walter. Stop, Walter. Walter, I need to speak with you. I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Okay. One step closer to our goal. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? All right, close the deal, get the artifact. This'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay, negotiate for the artifact. All right. You know what? We need to go ahead and take a little more aid. Uh, how about another sh nice Chardonnay? There we go. Ooh, okay. okay. All right. Let's get up to the VIP room. Okay, uh, it's around the corner here. Is there a type of weapon Pomba Tech won't make? Okay. Around, yeah, I think it's right in here. Okay. Walter, so how you're the hell? Stroud. You look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. Uh, I'll sit. Let's see. No sense making anyone uncomfortable. No, I'm st Yeah. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Okay, where are we supposed to sit? Sit. Okay. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. 
But your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Oh, stop bluffing. We know you need to sell quickly. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. Oh, don't be rash. We can still make this work. I'm not hearing here's the money. I'm on a tight timetable. And we would have wrapped up already if you hadn't gotten greedy. Our original offer stands. Now what's it going to be? Uh, I... Do the smart thing. Take the money. All right. You win. Hand over the money. This thing is all yours. Okay. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Okay. So, we need to grab the artifact. Oh. Do I have the artifact? What am I supposed to do? Uh, head to the entrance. All that money can buy. Okay. Well, alright. Let's head to the entrance. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. Okay. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Oh, don't do this. Don't die just to get a rock back. Ah. Uh. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending on men into the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Okay. So what do we got to do? All right, head to the entrance. All right. We hope you've enjoyed your time in the Astral Lounge. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Uh, which way do we got to go? Back this way? No, back this way. All right, head to the entrance. Somehow I got a feeling this is going to not work quite so well. Uh, here. All right. Probably not going to be that easy, I'm sure. Okay, head for the entrance, which is right over here. Ah. Yeah? Asa. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton Let's... has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. Oh, for crud. There goes our way out. All right. We need to get uh, Slayton off our backs. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Okay, all right, let's go to Slayton. All right, fine, fine. Walter, this is not turning out so well, I don't think. Okay. All right, where do we gotta go? Down here. And probably here. Slayton Aerospace. Okay. Walter, are you? Come on, Walter. All right. Find a way to the next floor. All right. Oh, Slayton Security. Okay. I'll get my own trident. All right, so let's 
see if we can do a little more persuasion here. Let's make sure we've got, uh, how about this nice Chardonnay Mal Blanc? All right. All right, Riley. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I need to make an appointment to see Nicholas Slayton. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Well, commerce, I have an exciting business opportunity to discuss with Mr. Slayton. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. Uh... I won't need to take up much of his time. We've just had a misunderstanding. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. I know you'd like to help me if you could. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Okay. All right. Uh, where do we got to go? Over here to the elevator. Somehow, I got a feeling. Walter, are you coming? Come on, Walter. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter! Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move. But one easily counted. <sighs> oh, we're trapped. Hello, oh, great. Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. Oh. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Follow her instructions. Understood. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But I, it'll be easy. I'm sure it will be, Walter. In three, two... Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Go, go to the next okay. floor. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cupboard just to the right of the elevator you came in on. All right. The vent system. All right. Are you following me, Walter? All right. You know... That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Okay. All right. Okay. Put this away. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. Drop down. Oh, oh. come on. Drop down. Okay, follow the conduit. All the way to the end. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. Okay. Oh. Up, up, up. Okay. Now what? Which way do we got to go? Uh, maybe not this away. This away. Okay. The room below you is clear. Drop down. Okay. So right. Uh. Stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Head left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hall. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now, straight across to the door. Keep going oh. all the way to the end. Okay. All right. Open the door. Wait, there's people in the room up ahead. Closing the shutters. Uh, okay. Another robot up ahead. 
Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Go now! Okay. Let me just get that for you. Is this where we needed to go? Uh... You know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one, I promise. Where's the vent? Oh, right here. Yeah, Walter. E. Come on. Up, up we go. Okay. Around. All right. Where do we got to go? Around. When did we come up? Uh, is it maybe down this one? Almost there. Door on the right. What down? Door on the right. On the right. Over here. Okay. There's the door. It should take you outside. Okay. Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, okay. I guess so. Uh... All right. Okay. Climb the trade tower. All right. And, oh, there's Slayton, security guard. Managed to come through here so far. I have a question. Let me check my inventory. My apparel. Let's put this operative suit on. Okay. hidden oh crap hidden stay hidden Okay, Walter. Okay. Come on, Walter. You gotta climb up to here. Oh. Great. You're already dead. Back and around. I was hoping to come out through this way. All right, we've got to get up, maybe around some more. Maybe up through here. Gotcha. Come on, Walter. Who's shooting? That you, Walter? Oh. Oh, come on, Walter. Uh, Okay. Come on, Walter. Okay. Uh. Up, up, up. Okay, I think we're on the right level.
Where you at, Walter? You're not shooting some more, are you? Okay, I think we managed to get up to the top. Oh. You know what? We're not even going to... One, one more. There you go. All right. All right. Let's grab at least the ammo. All right. I think this is our door. All right. Let's put the gun away. Open. Okay. We should be on the executive level. Uh, climb the trade. Confront Nicholas Slate. All right. Coming, Walter. Back down again? You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. Okay. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> okay. You must be Nicholas. All right. Well, call off your guards, Slayton, and release my ship. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a... Stalemate. Okay. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. Well, you and Walter are business people. Some arrangements can be made. I do admit having the co-CEO of Stroud Eckland in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think... It would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourself. Oh, great. All right. Decide as in we could let him go? Uh, he's a thief. Let the authorities deal with him? If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself, and then we will handle the rest. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Right. Okay, so... I guess we've got to come in here and confront him. Oh, you're not looking good, buddy. All right. Oh, no. You... Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Well, he wants me to decide what to do with you. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Well, let's see. We're letting you go. Get out of neon while you can. I... Thank you. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Okay. Well, I guess it's back to the ship. So we can uh, just kind of take the elevator out of here. Is that what the deal is? And... Down to the lobby. Okay. Uh, out this way. Door 
open? I don't think this is... Get going, Mr. Slayton is done with you. This is the way out. Have a nice day. Okay, this is the way out, I think. Yeah, here we go. All right, lobby. Okay. All right. So what do we need to do now? Go to the ship. Okay. Let's uh, go to the ship. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. All right. I will uh, meet you guys at the ship. A deal with a man who wanted us dead. Okay. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? Well, you know what? Uh, we got the artifact. Uh... Terrible people do terrible things to each other. What a city. Really? I think there's at least one example of someone who didn't let the corruption of the city get to them. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive okay. me. All right. Talk to Walter Stroud. Take off from Neon. Okay. Credits, 10,000. All right, I think we got this done. So let's see. Uh, we need to take off from Neon. I wonder if we can set course. Oh, no. All right. Let's uh, take off. Let's do this. All right, take off, and then maybe we can fast travel. Okay, hopefully I think we've got to head back to the lodge. You hold something you have no right to. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay. Uh, we don't mean you any harm. You say that now, but your kind is not ready for the artifacts. The Starborn know what you are, what you are capable of. Okay. Us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge, or drown in it. Okay. At least tell us more about who you are. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. Okay. Not just knowing what you are be dangerous. Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. Okay. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Okay. All evasive neuters. Let's get out of we'll here. Get Hold on. All right. Uh. Let's see. Uh, let's set course. Land. Let's get out of there. Okay. Hopefully that's got us out of there. Okay. Missions updated. Starborn. Let's see. What do we got here? Talk to Noel. Okay, so we've got the power from beyond, power from beyond. So we did finish, let's see, we finished all that money can buy. So now, I guess we are, could call that uh, done. 
And uh, we will pick up uh, talking to Noel on the Starborn. Okay. Well, we managed to get out of there without getting blown up. And so we got to end up back at the lodge to talk to Noel. So I guess at this point, we're going to uh, call it good. So all you starfighters out there, if you like this mission, uh, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps out the video. And please subscribe. It will really help out the channel. Ring that bell. It will let you know when I am uploading new videos, and I'm doing that on a regular basis. Okay, starfighters out there, keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.